Hi guys, I'm coming to you live uh, from the microblading studio. I'm, I've come to do a touch up. As you can see, they already trimmed. They trimmed the eyebrows and then they are numbing them. This is the numbing process. It's going to take about 30 minutes. So I hope you're doing well. I hope you're thriving. If you're new here, my name is Doreen. You are welcome to the channel where we share lifestyle content that is authentic, motivational, encouraging, and fun. And in this video, I'm going to take you through the process of microblading touch-up. So what they do is you do the microblading and then after two months, you come back for a touch-up some people opt not to come for the touch-up but since i was around i decided i was in Kampala. i decided to come and do a touch-up yeah so that is what we're going to do today as you can see they already trimmed the eyebrows and they are numbing them yeah so that's what we are doing um if you watched my microblading video if you haven't watched it you should go and watch it i did another video uh, of the healing process the whole healing process but i accidentally deleted it i don't know if someone had watched it had any of you watched the video where i was explaining the whole healing process i had taken you through like day by day for the 14 days i was healing and then alas i accidentally deleted the video i had even answered some questions you know in the video of how much it was how long the healing takes uh which skin types uh should go for what for the microblading like so many things i'd answered so many things in that video yeah so if you had missed it well 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 i don't think i can recreate it however that calls for you to you know hit the notification bell so that every time i upload a video you're the first to watch it so that when accidents like deleting the video happen you have already watched it you've already you know picked out what you want to pick from the content yeah so uh, well some of the things that i had addressed uh, during the video were i think one of the things was about the skin types how if you have a dry skin type your um the the, the shape the microblading stays longer than if you have an oily face or an oily skin type yeah so that was one of the things another thing was the scabbing how it takes about 10 to 14 days for your fully for you to fully be healed and then another thing what was it what was it yeah i had read so many things so in the next time i upload a video you know be the first to watch it just be there click the click the notification bell when it comes watch it and then you can go about your other things yeah so anyway i've put in place some mechanisms to help me the next time i accidentally delete a video so i hope that it never happens again yeah but that's the update i have right now so i'm at the studio um as you can see we've already started the uh, touch-up um, process yeah so let's go on with it i'll take you through the process and then you will see the after after they are done with the whole process i, I think i'll also do a healing journey again though yvette tells me that like it's not as dramatic as the first one yeah so if you missed that video sorry sorry for you sorry for me as well because it would have been good you know as a follow-up video this would have been a good follow-up from the previous one but i'll try to do as much as i can to film again the the healing process yeah so that is what we are about today
there you have it this is very very we are done with the touch up as you can see there's a difference from the first microblading to now the touch up yeah so she's going to tell us who should <laughs> come for the touch up like after doing the microblading eh? yeah so who should come and who shouldn't come yeah mm. so what we did last time was a combo mm. so we did some micro blading at the start of the eyebrow mm. then we shaded the rest of the eyebrow mm. and then after going through all the steps it was curving then the pigment came on top of the skin mm. then it was a bit light um but when to insert a picture <laughs> mm. yes so it's good to always go for a touch up because after two months mm. because sometimes it fits too much sometimes it heals too much mm. and then for example some people's tails go off the mm. tail is this last mm. part of the eyebrow uh -huh. sometimes some people say oh i want to go bigger or longer mm. or darker for example you explain to me i yeah. want a sharp look so that i don't suffer feeling it in mm. I don't want I want to look like I've done makeup. Yeah. Yeah. So I went a bit darker. Okay. Everywhere so that when it scabs, you still remain with your shape. Some mm. people want it more natural looking. Some people want it sharp. Mm. So it's always good to go for a touch up and that's what okay. we've just done right now. Alright. It really <laughs> looks good. It does look so good. Okay. Uh, I like it. Yeah, so um, I think I'm going to again do the like, healing process. Yes. And like you said, it's not going to be intense like the previous one. No. But I'll still film it since I accidentally deleted the other video that was showing the dramatic healing process. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, so there you have it, guys. If Yay! you want to do micro blending and micro shading, I'm going to leave events uh, contacts again in the description box, mm -hmm. or you can DM me, or you can comment in the comment section, and I will give you all the details. Thanks. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Bye bye. Bye bye. Enjoy your new eyebrows. Yes, I will. Oh. <laughs> I've already been enjoying it. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, um. Some people call me Veve, some people call me Yvette. So, yeah. whichever. Yeah, so, alright. Love you guys. Bye.